Good afternoon, Standard 8 students. Today, I'm going to continue. So, the last video was based on infernal din, which means an unpleasant sound. Now, according to Bertram Wooster, made him to understand that Sir Roderick Glossop does not seem to love music because the banjo lele is a string instrument and people enjoy listening to such kind of instruments. So he has jumped into conclusion that Sir Roderick Glossop is not a music lover. Okay. Then he says, Oh, well, let me tell you that the man who had no music in himself. So I forgot you're a man who does not love music. I stepped to the door. Jeeves, I called down the passage. And we called out to his valet Jeeves. Okay. What was Shakespeare? What was it Shakespeare said? The man who hadn't music in himself was fit for. So what did Shakespeare in his play? The Merchant of Venice. Okay. What did he say? About a person who does not love music. What does he call him? Treasons and stratagems and spoils, sir. Now what he meant was According to William Shakespeare, in his plays, whenever there is music and somebody does not love music, so then he explains the nature and character of that person who does not love music. So, treason means a person who betrays his country, a traitor. Okay. Okay. Stratagem here refers to when these people who don't love music, they keep conspiring. Their mind is evil. They keep thinking of how to ruin the country or ruin somebody. So this is the nature of people who don't love music. So now this was... The comment which Bertram Wooster had passed on to Sir Audrey Glossop, a person who doesn't seem to love music. Then again, since Jeeves supported and gave the right answer, so for courtesy's sake, he says, thank you, Jeeves. So whenever anybody helps you, in giving a right answer or the meaning or for any kind of favor that has been done, please say thank you. Now, in English, there are two golden words. One is please and the other one is thank you. In your conversation, be gentle and polite. Wherever you could use these words, please and thank you you will earn a very good respect amongst your friends and relatives and all that. Always remember this. We're not only supposed to learn what the, about the lesson. We're supposed to learn what we derive from the lesson. Okay, what we learn from the lesson. Are you aware that the occupant of the flat below Mrs. Tinkler Malky is one of my patients. Says, so do you know that the person living in the flat before, below, is one of my patients? A woman in a highly nervous condition. I have had to give her a sedative. He says, now the lady living below is a nervous patient. Okay. And she hasn't been sleeping. 
Now, in order to put her to sleep, I had to give her a sedative, an injection, so that she could sleep. I raised her hand. Spare me the gossip from the loony bin, I said distinctly. Now, enough. Oh, the loony bin is referring to Sir Roderick Glossop. He said, I don't want to have any kind of nonsensical talk with you. Okay. Might I inquire on my side if you are aware that Mrs. Tinkler Mulkey owns a Pomeranian? So I don't want to talk much about the, the lady who is your patient. But are you aware that that lady also owns a dog? Okay, a Pomeranian is a kind of a breed of a dogs. Don't drivel. Drivel means don't talk of something which is nonsense. Nonsensical. Okay. I am not driveling. This animal yaps all day and not infrequently far into the night. So she has a dog with yap, 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 keeps yapping, making a lot of noise from, the, from right from day to later parts in the night. So Mrs. Tinkler Malky has had the nerve to complain of my banjo lele. Has she? That means she has the audacity it is the dog who is actually disturbing her. But she is now putting the blame on me that she has been disturbed because of me playing my banjo lele. Ha! Huh, what a joke it is. Ha! Huh, let her first pluck out the palm which is in her own eye. I said, becoming a bit scriptural. Now, scriptural means taken from the Bible. Now, the fault is like she should first look out for her own fault. She should understand that it is the dog that is disturbing her, not me. So first, you must remove the muck, the dirt from your back. Means you must first see your faults before you point out at others' faults. So this is from the Bible. Okay, first remove the muck from your own back. So before you chastise or blame anyone, first look into yourself how true you are, how correct you are, before you po point out a mistake of others. He shaft visibly means he showed his impatience and irritation. Okay. Now he says, I am not here to talk about dogs. He says, I haven't come here to talk about dogs. I wish for your assurance that you will immediately cease annoying this unfortunate woman. Okay. He says, I have not come here to speak about dogs, but I am only telling you but you must understand the condition of this woman and straight away you must stop playing your banjo lele. I shook the head. I am sorry. She is a cold audience. I am sorry. She is a cold audience means she seems to be a person who does not love music. But my art must come first. Whether she likes my music or not, I care a damn. But I have to play. My art comes first. So then Sir Roderick Gollop says, so that is your final word, is it? Means, in other words, you have decided not to stop playing. And each time you play, you're going to disturb this lady. So it is, means I will continue to play. Very good, you will hear more of this. Means now, fine, I've requested you, I've told you, I warned you. Not to play your banjo lele is disturbing my patient. And if you continue to do so, then I shall 
take the case a little further up. Means you will land yourself into serious trouble. Okay. And Mrs. Tinkle Mulke will hear more of this. So fine. Now hear the two meaning. Okay. Hear of this means maybe the the law will come in to solve this problem. The police will come and solve this problem. This is what he, what he meant more of this. Now what Bertram Booster meant was your patient, Mrs. Tinkler Molke will hear more of this. Means she will be hearing more of my banjo -lele. I replied, brandishing the banjo -lele. Okay. Holding the banjo -lele and saying she will hear more of this, showing her, showing him this instrument that he was playing. I touched the buzzer. Jeeves, I said, show Sir R. Glossop out. So he requested Jeeves, the valet, to show Sir Roderick Glossop, take him out of the house. So that was a favor that Bertram Booster wanted Jeeves to do for him. So automatically, when he goes out, take Sir Roderick Glossop out, Bertram Booster says, thank you, Jeeves. Okay. So now this is the end of the poetry. And in case while reading, if you still have any doubts or something which you have not understood, you are free to phone and ask me to clarify your doubt. Thank you.